Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to be painting a picture of a hot air balloon. So the colors that you're going to need are really going to vary depending on what you want your hot air balloon colors to be. So if I don't have red or orange on my palette, you could put it on yours. You need pink, purple, white, blue, yellow, teal, black, and green. My favorite brushes, I've got my one inch flat brush as well as my 10 six and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy for keeping those brushes clean. So let us get started. Um, now here in the area that I live, I live near Louisville, Kentucky. During the uh, Kentucky Derby season, we always have a balloon glow. And so that's why I've decided this is a great week to do this because we are starting off our Kentucky Derby Festival. I'm gonna start with my number or my one inch flat brush and I'm gonna make horizontal, that means left to right lines with white paint. Now I'm also gonna have my hot air balloons um, going over water because we have the Ohio River right here by us. And so I wanna have them going over water. Now I did not cover my whole canvas, just parts of it. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start in with the dark blue and I'm gonna do lines of dark blue. And as you can see, some areas are gonna be darker because there's no white paint. Other areas are gonna be lighter because there is white paint. And these areas, they can touch and intersect or they can go wherever you want. These are just gonna be the lines of our sky. After I'm done with dark blue, I did not even wipe my brush off. I'm gonna get some of that teal color and put some of that teal in. After I'm finished with that teal color, I'm gonna add a little bit of pink. A little bit of purple. Now the yellow is gonna be the last color I add in because currently if I were to put yellow on here, it would probably turn slightly brown and I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do with my paintbrush with some white paint on it is I'm gonna go left to right over all of these colors. I want them to mix-ish. I'm gonna say mix-ish. I don't want them to totally mix. So I still wanna see those lines of color, but I want them to blend together. The next color I'm gonna add in is going to be that yellow and that's gonna be my final color on my background. With that brush, I could just wipe off some of that and I'm gonna add in now a little bit of yellow. And I don't wanna add too much yellow, but right on top and if it starts to mix to be a brownish color, I'm going to stop and wipe it off. But I'm gonna have one area and that's gonna be this area right here that I'm gonna have most of my yellow. That's because that's where my sun is gonna be. Okay, I have got a great sunset background. I'm gonna let this dry when we come back. We are gonna put in our hot air balloons, our river and all of our details. Now that we have our sky finished, we're gonna go in and add our ground. So like I said, I live um, near the Ohio River and we are having a, a festival called um, the Kentucky Derby Festival. I'm sure most of you have probably heard of it, but one of the things is the balloon glow. So I'm gonna make my balloon glow be on a river. And so I'm gonna have two wavy lines coming up from the base that are going to be kind of where our my river goes to, okay? And so everything to the left is gonna be ground, everything to the right is gonna be ground. This side is gonna be the Indiana side, so there's some hills. And this side's the Louisville side, so there's a little bit less hills. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint these spaces in black right here.
Once both of those are on there, we're gonna talk about laying out our hot air balloon. So your hot air balloon can be any size or any color you want. I definitely know I'm gonna put one right here because I want the sun shining out from behind it. Um, but let's talk about hot air balloon shapes. So um, a lot of people think, oh, it's just, you know, like a circle with a little line for a basket, but I want you to watch this, okay? If you start by making an oval, I think potato, okay? Think potato. The top of that oval, add a small bump. At the bottom of that oval, you're gonna make almost what's like a funnel. So it's gonna just kind of curve in and down. Now I'm gonna have mine be mostly shadows. So as I paint this in, I'm just gonna smooth out where any of my bumps kind of connect and smooth them on down to that base. Now you can make as many hot air balloons as you do or do not want. Um, I'm definitely gonna add two more. I like things in odd numbers. So I'm gonna make two that are a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna take my my sixth, my number six, sorry, my number 10 brush, set it down. I'm gonna grab my number six brush. Now from here, every hot air balloon has a basket because, well, you need to have somebody in there driving it. Right? Technically the wind drives it. You need somebody in there letting the air in and out of it. So from right down here on the base, I'm gonna make two lines that kind of come down like a triangle, okay? So one goes straight down and one goes at an angle. From there, we're gonna have our basket. So the baskets are just small little rectangles right down on the base of the hot air balloon. I'm gonna add just a couple of birds and clouds in my sky. So um, there's a couple different ways to make birds, right? I like to call these um, elementary birds where you just make like two curved lines that kind of connect together. But honestly, they look really cute. So if you like to make birds, make them that way. They're successful, they're easy, they read well, people know what you're looking for. Then I'm also gonna go in and I am going to add some clouds. So I'm gonna clean off my number 10 round brush. I'm gonna get some white paint and I am going to just dot and dab some clouds on here. Now, I know my background's really light, but I want you to see this next step. So as I'm dabbing and dabbing some clouds on there, I'm gonna go with some yellow and I'm gonna put some yellow right on the edge of that cloud. I want this to be kind of bright. Now you can have a couple different layers of brightness on your cloud. And then wipe my brush off and let's throw another one in. And any place the yellow goes, goes towards this sun right here, which is behind this hot air balloon. Uh-oh, got a little bit of black in there. Time to wash it off and start over with that one. 
Sometimes that happens, guys. When you're uh, painting and not letting everything dry all the way, you might grab a little bit of black or a color you don't want. I could just wipe my brush off, pull that color off, and then continue with what I was doing and that black is gone. So if you do it quick and if you do it while it's wet, you can usually wipe it right off. Now let's talk about the sun that's right back here. I'm gonna go in with some white paint on my finger and I'm going to make a spot, I'm gonna go right here. That is gonna be my sun. So from there, I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and pull out straight from that sun mark in straight lines out. And I want this to be so thin so thin I can barely see it. I'm okay if some of the white pulls through, some of the yellow pulls through. And come right back to that center and add just a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. Kind of tap it out so it's not so aggressive. And there we go. A great balloon glow. It could be sunrise or sunset. Now, if you do want to add color to yours, watch this. I could take some green, even on top of my black, and I can dab some green in. That's going to allow me to see some of the color that might be on my hills or on my groundways. I can even add a little bit of yellow if I wanna lighten it up a bit. I can go on my hot air balloons and maybe add some lines of color on top of my black. Maybe brush some of that color in so that I know there's a shadow, but there is still some color on those balloons. And you can leave your balloons black. Even add some cross hatching lines down here so that my balloon looks like it's got some basket weaving on it. I do that in my teal, maybe some white, some yellow, whatever color you want your basket to be. And there you have it. 
nice little hot air balloon picture. Don't forget that when you're finished, you need to sign your initials or your name in a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner. Also, I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.